Hello, and welcome to this short introduction to the database called CRISP. CRISP stands for the Center for Research in Security Prices. Uh, basically, it has provides lots of data on uh, securities traded on U.S. stock exchanges. It includes uh, common stocks, American depository receipts, uh, exchange traded funds, closed and mutual funds, and real estate investment trusts. Now it's important to realize that how far back it goes. So it starts way back in 1925 with companies, coverage of companies traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And then in 1962, it expanded coverage to include companies on the American Stock Exchange. And then in 1972, uh, it expanded even more to include companies traded on the NASDAQ. So let's go ahead and take a look at actually accessing CRISP. So like many other uh, places, we access CRISP here through the Wharton Research Data Services, so WARDS. And here's CRISP listed in the list of databases. So I'll click on once on CRISP. And in this video, I'll demonstrate using the new uh, search interface called stock version 2. I'll click once on that. And we'll use the daily stock file. And this is where I can, is the search form where I can uh, enter in my data. And for this video, I'll demonstrate a search on Facebook and specifically on the month in which it was initially um, began as an IPO back in 2012. So the first question here asks me to pick a date. So I'm going to date range. I'm going to select here. So there's 2020. And let's go ahead and select. I'm going back to 2012 here and uh, Facebook first was introduced on the New York Stock Exchange on the Stock Exchange excuse me in May Friday May 18th 2012 so we'll start and let's say we I'm just interested in collecting about the first month the trading data so I'm going to select my end date And let's go ahead and go back again to 2012. And instead of May, we'll pick June. And I said about a month's worth, so we'll say Friday, June 22nd, 2012. So I've selected my date range. Now I am going to select my company. So I'm going to I'm searching for Facebook. Now you might be tempted to use a ticker search, but um, uh, as with Facebook, ticker symbols can change. So I, we're going to search by the more uh, accurate perm co. So that's a per permanent company identification code. So I'm going to we'll, we're going to search by that. Now offhand, I don't know what it is. That is, so I'm going to use this code lookup, and I'm going to type in the current name of Facebook, which is Meta Platforms, and we'll start a search for that. So here's Meta Platforms, which includes uh, Facebook, and here is the permanent Permco company identification number. So I'll just highlight that and I'm going to add that code to my search form. So I've now selected my company using this permco. Uh, question three asks me to select my variables. I'm going to keep this search fairly simple. So there are 94 different variables to choose from. They're listed, all, all of them are listed in here. But if I scroll over a little bit, I can 
it organizes the variables into different categories. So I'll click once on this identif identifying information tab. And I'm interested, I'd just like to list the company name. So here it is, issuer name. So I'm going to click once on that variable and it, it adds it to my selection list here. And then as far as data, I'm going to click on this time series information category. And I am interested in the closing price and volume. So we'll keep this fairly basic. So here's daily volume. Click once on that variable and it adds it to my selection. And here's the daily close. So I've selected those three items. And then the final question is to select my output. So I can use various uh, options for, uh, for an output. I'm going to stick with a very simple one here with a, just I'm going to put it on to HTML, an HTML table. So I'll click once on that. And then here is my submit form button. Now when I click that, this button, it will open up another tab on my browser uh, where it will be begin processing my search. So here, new tab, and it lets me know that the uh, my search is running. And this will recycle, refresh every five seconds. And when it's done, it will the status will change to from running to success. So here it's completed my request and then under results here is my output file. So I can click once on that and this is the results of my search. So it's given me the date, the name of the company, here's my volume, daily volume column as well as the daily stock price column listed there. So that's a, a brief introduction to using uh, CRISP. If you would like to revise your search, I can just close this tab and it brings me right back to my original search form where I can make changes as needed. So that's a quick introduction and remember when you're done with this database, be sure to log out. If you do have questions using CRISP or any of our other databases, feel free to contact us here in the library and we'll be happy to try and help.